Jack in North Carolina. I believe in Jesus Christ. Yeah. There's no evidence for evolution anywhere in the world. End times predicted something that happened in Israel. Okay, so do you want wow, to talk about a that? a lot there. Hey, Hi, Jack, Jack. What's going on? You're on hey, with Ellen. Jenna and Anthony. Wait, wait. I would like to say this first, please. Uh, there is one way that you can know if God is real or not. And I would like to say a couple of things first, though. Uh, but it, it, okay. There is one way to know beyond a shadow of doubt. I can tell you all day long that there's a God. And if you don't believe it, you just don't believe it. Uh, <clears throat> you look at the facts that's out here from evolution. It's nowhere on planet Earth. If, if you know where it's at, you need to write a book on it. Uh, Why do you think that it's somewhere? Lincoln. Well, here's the thing. What you think and what are the facts, and I'm not being rude about this, are two different things. Uh, right. There is no evolution. If you understand evolution, uh, if you come from a single cell up to who we are today, uh -huh. uh, where is the evolution that we should find in the fossil record without the kidney, without the heart? In other words, so take your heart I don't think you that you, um, Jack, I don't think you necessarily understand evolution. Um, I am not an expert well, on it, but now. I, so okay, I'm going to recommend you said you're not an that. Let me explain it. I, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't really maybe, have maybe time. Maybe before we before we get too heated here, why don't we each reveal our level of expertise when it comes to evolution, uh, say on a scale from one to 10, where 10 is expert, you've studied this for 30 years and you teach it in universities or something. Maybe well, you've written well, some Let me ask you something. Who is to say that that's an expert? I that's mean, a good point. It, I mean, that's a good setting, point. You're setting a standard that I can't get across because you're blocking me. See, that's the problem. No, no, that's I'm okay. That's playing. that's okay. I'm, 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 I'm willing to go with you here. Okay. okay. Hold Jack, on. Hold on Jack, a second, we Jack. want to have a nice, friendly conversation with you. We both yeah. of us I mean, really please, want to. Please. I don't want to. We don't want to mute please. you or anything. You've raised a good point. Th these are these are standards that I've just pulled out and I threw them out there, and they're worth discussing. What is your standard? Okay. What is your standard of somebody who you would say? They've really studied this. They really have a good handle on evolution. What are your what are the parameters of your standard for being able to say that person's an expert and that person is a novice? What is your standard? All right. Let me let me say this first. I drive a car. It don't mean I can drive a race car, but I still drive a car and I'm good at it. I can drive it fast. I can put it uh, through curves fast, slide it, drift. There's a lot of things I can do with it, but Am I recognized as a professional? No. Am I? No, but you could be a licensed driver. Money on different levels. Exactly. Well, I'm a licensed driver. So who, who's right. a licensed now, evolutionist here. in this conversation? All right. Okay. Okay. Let me state something that is a fact. Now, if, hold if on. You can say something that's a fact if you, you can proof. if you can prove to us that you I, have I'm the expertise to, to prove to us that it's I'm a fact. I'm going to show it to you. There's okay. No, uh, show me where I can find evolution in what museum on planet Earth. Well, I don't think that it's something that you can no, no, pick up and show somebody. Hold on, Anthony has a well, very good point. We're, Jack, we're getting are off you track. Going, uh, yeah. We're going to establish our expertise levels, or we're going to move on. Yeah, what? Oh, what I'm, I'm, can you, can I'm, you, I'm an expert. Hold on. I'm an expert. You, I'm a lead on. I don't know that. Do I have to give you credentials? You don't know that, but I'm. All right, let's go beyond that. Let's let's have the conversation and prove me wrong. Am I okay. expert or am I not? Right. My I'm goal is not to I'm prove gonna, anybody I'm going to mute. Hold on a second. I've, I've muted the conversation. That's nice. Because, um, man, I feel like my I'm, I'm getting I'm getting agitated here, and I don't want to get agitated. So I've muted the conversation. So, Jack, I apologize. But I, You're still I've on. Muted the conversation. You're still on, and just Jen and I are, are transmitting. I think it's really important. Like, you mentioned a really good thing about standards because we want to be able to see how, how much of an expert we are on this topic. If all three of us come up with some really good standards and we each rank ourselves like in the one out of a 10, mm -hmm. then maybe we're not the best people for this conversation. And maybe exactly. we should give less weight that we're putting on the topic. Mm -hmm. So before we go any further, maybe we can come up with two or three standards that you would say, would say, okay, that person is expert or novice. So I'll throw a couple out here. It might be the number of publications in peer-reviewed journals, the amount of time spent in the field practicing evolutionary stuff. I don't know. And then maybe the third one would be um, the amount, of, the number of hours in a lab or something like that. I don't know. Those are just mm -hmm. off the top of my head. There's probably way better 
standards. What would you say would be your standards for saying this person has expertise in this subject of evolution? And I will unmute you, unless Jenna, you wanted to add anything to it. Nope, I'm ready. Okay, unmute. Oh, okay, okay. Can I can I state one thing first, please? We're first. We're you're, going to cover what we just said. We're going to cover first. Can we can we talk about two or three standards that you would say that person is an expert in evolution? Okay, I'm an expert. I, I'm an expert. Mm. Can I'm we establish awesome. that? Uh, hold on. Awesome. Well, so that I means can tell you a lie, but that still don't establish nothing on the phone. Actually, call. I think I, I misunderstood. I misunderstood. I'm backing. This is you and Anthony right now. Okay. Oh, that's good. If if you're if you would self-identify as a ten on that scale, I'd love to understand your parameters for being able to say that you are an expert. So, what are your parameters study. for saying that? Study. 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 It's nowhere. Well, here's the thing. Now, listen to me. You're, can you can you tell me how long you've me. studied the What's topic? Your, hold on. Okay, oh, Jack. God. We, we this is a call-in show. Jack, hold on. Years. This is yes, Jack. Yep. This is a okay. call-in show where we are the hosts and we have to control the, uh, the time, the flow of things. And so we're what we're trying to do is establish a dialogue. And so if he asks you a uh, question, the standard thing to do is to respond to the question and keep going from there instead of changing the subject. I, yeah, I'm looking, I gave I'm you looking an answer. The, you want to know who an expert was. I'm telling you, I'm an expert. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, I laid the perimeters out for evolution, and I, were, I was on the way of doing so, just like the heart, the kidneys, the brain, the blood. See, those are evolutional jumps that you don't find in the fossil record. It's simply we have not, not established your expertise trillions. in any way. And so, actually, well, Anthony, I'm well, going to ask that you drop this um, if okay. you can, because I don't, I don't so think that we're going to get you're very scared far. Of what I've got to offer. You know what? I You can say what you want. <laughs> He's dropped. Um, um, yeah, that's... One of my first questions that I really wanted to ask, and I think anyone listening to this, keep this in mind. Whenever you, you run into somebody who's very passionate about a specific topic, ask them right away if their confidence in their claim would vary if they found out that that was not a good reason. Is your confidence that Jesus is real dependent on evolution being true or false? Get a, get a hard answer to that. My suspicion usually is what is the case is that people will still believe that their gods are real, even when their pet subjects are shown to be not true. So we could probably spend 10 hours arguing with Jack about evolution, and it may not even be why he thinks it's true. It very well might be a factor. And if it is a factor, we can probably establish what he would accept as expertise. And he, he was very dodgy and all over the place. And when, here's another learning point. When I find myself getting agitated, that's the key to me to start slowing it down and not agi not getting more and more wrapped around the axle. Um, that's something that I'm very much trying to work on. It, it, it takes a lot of time. And this format, of course, there's, there's delays and there's two hosts. And we even talked about this a little bit when we sat down um, in Texas, you know, talking in San Antonio, talking about this stuff. But uh, we can get really wrapped up around topics that have no bearing whatsoever in a person's confidence that it's true. Mm -hmm. So the very first thing we need to do is establish that this is a factor in his confidence. And it sounds like it might be. If he, if he says that it is, then we can go down this path. But um, did you notice, like, if I had expertise in a subject, I would say, I studied 20 years at this university, I've written these papers, and here are all the credentials that I would say warrant donning somebody with the title of expert. Right. And and we got the very opposite. Like, why yeah, would I you? Study. Yeah, yeah. And, and a little hostility in the mix too. So well, it's really, that I, sorry. Please. Um, I I want to say that the from the beginning, he seemed a little bit hostile. Um, yeah. And so that's why I kind of, I was a little bit on guard from the beginning um, because the way that I see it is it, and that's something I've told people on this show before is that if you're having a conversation with someone and they're being hostile, they're not very, they're not listening to you. And so I'm not, I'm not willing to have a conversation on here with somebody who's not going to listen to me. Mm -hmm. um, I'd rather, you know what, call back when you want to calm down. Um, if you, you know, other people can do it however they want, but yeah. I, I'm here to have a conversation. So. And, and Jack did come back with a really good criteria or attribute of expert. I studied this for 20 years. However, what does that mean? What kind of study are we talking about? Did you read one book, uh, one book a year for 20 years and they, they were all from a particular slant on evolution? 
Or, you know, what exactly do you mean when you say that you've studied something for 20 years? So, right. You can study the Bible for 20 years and that, d d you know, doesn't tell me anything. <laughs>